Well, Jason Light said uh, a couple weeks ago that one of the top priorities, as soon as the draft is over, is to get into your contract. Uh, are you happy to, that they're going to start to address that? Does it really matter to you? Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, I don't think it really matters to me right now. Um, you know, I just let the, you know my, my agent and stuff take care of that as of now. And then uh, whenever they start sitting down with me and officially start talking to me about it, and, you know, maybe then I'll think about it. But you know, until that time comes, you know, I'm just focusing on being here right now and just trying to make uh, get myself better. How eager are you and, and the rest of, of this team to, to get last year away from you guys, to, to show that you're a better team than a 2-14 and 14 I mean, football team? Very eager, man. You could tell by the guys' attitude in the locker room. You know, uh, I don't think nobody mentioned nothing about last year yet. You know, I mean, it was one of the, you know, one of the worst years I ever been through since I played football. And uh, it's something that I want to get out of my head as soon as possible. You know, that's why I'm here every day, you know, just trying to do what I got to do to uh, not go through nothing like that again. And I'm sure all the other guys feel the same way. Did you guys feel that it started? I mean, obviously, statistically, things were better in the last half of the year. Mm -hmm. But could you feel it as a team that, that you guys were finally kind of grasping what Lovey and, and, and Leslie were teaching you guys? Yeah, I think so. Uh, everybody was coming together. Everybody was understanding and understanding more, you know, uh, you know, especially, especially for a defense that we run, you know, some of the stuff could be sound so simple, but it's a lot of details that goes into it. And uh, I think later as the year went, guys started understanding and, and uh, understanding the concepts and things like that and uh, what, what different teams are trying to do to attack us in certain defenses. So, you know, uh, now you have the chance to pick up where we left off. And uh, I already, as a group, as a defense, we're getting together, you know, studying and things like that. So, you know, that's a positive sign. Is there something different you notice about this team in terms of the atmosphere, the, just the, the vibe in the room as opposed to the year ago? Uh, no, not really, man. Everybody's really, you know, I, I could see everybody's really happy. You know, the offseason is really long. I could tell guys was happy to get back, be back in, in the environment that they know, you know, finally start talking about football instead of, you know, just watching what, basketball, baseball, and things like that. So guys are happy to be back to work. And, uh, you know, guys are really, really excited to get this thing started. You were good friends with Mason Foster, but you've got a new face in, in the middle of the defense now mm -hmm. and Bruce Carter. What are your thoughts on his game and how you guys have been hitting off the first week? Oh, man, he's an athletic player. You know, uh, so far he's been a great guy to be around. You know, in the way, uh, in uh, meeting rooms, he's already answering a lot of questions. You know, he uh, taking, taking care of his responsibility as far as, you know, what he's supposed to do. Uh, in the front room at, at his positions, like we'd be watching film, and he, you know, he calling things out for his position. So, uh, you know, that's a positive sign. You know, uh, you know, you know, you know, him and Mason are two different type of players. So, uh, you know, hopefully he come in and uh, come in and just, you know, just pick up where wherever Mason left off, and maybe even do better. Uh, I mean. You know, we got a great coach in Hardy Nickerson, so uh, I'm sure that transition won't be as hard. You know, Hardy played the exact same position that he's about to play, so, you know, uh, he, he's been, from what I've seen, he's been uh, getting Hardy here a lot, asking him a lot of questions, and, you know, so, you know, that's a good thing. You know, like I said, you know, it's going to be tough at first, but, you know, hopefully that's why we got this time now to, you know, iron all the kinks and things out, so once we get on the field, you know, it, it could be real simple for him. No, nah, no, nah, not really. We never, we didn't, we didn't have a, you know, conversation like that yet. You know, basically in the locker room, you know, we just do a lot of things. You know, just try to get to know each other, whatever. A lot of laughs and giggles. And then in the film room, we don't really have that much time to, you know, discuss uh, other matters. But besides film, you know, Hardy, you know, he get right to it. So, you know, uh, you know, but you know, maybe down the line we probably will. You know. Uh, I remember watching him in college, things like that, and also in Dallas. You know, so uh, he's a great, uh, great football player from uh, from what I've seen. So um, I can't wait to get on the field with him. He got a lot of hands, uh, got his hands on a lot of passes uh, last year. Do you think that maybe that was kind of a missing ingredient for you guys this past year? Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, as a linebacker group, only guy who got all the picks was Danny. So uh, we need some more guys like that. You know, me and myself to come in and compete with Danny to get some hands on some football. So. You know, we already told him already that, you know, we coming for him. So uh, hopefully, you know, that competitive nature brings the best out of all of us. There's a lot been talked about of, of James Winston possibly mm -hmm. being the draft pick on Thursday mm -hmm. night. Uh, he's got a big personality. 
do you think this team needs a personality like that, a presence like that? Uh, you know, uh, we got guys in the locker room with great character, you know, and, uh, you know, I think once he comes, if, if we draft him or whatever, and, uh, he comes in the locker room, I'm sure guys are put him to the side. We got some veteran guys who can put him to the side, and, you know, make him understand that, you know, uh, you know, he, there's a role he has to play once he come in. And uh, uh, sometimes you may have to tone that down. Uh, some may, some guys may even say, you know, just be yourself. You know, that's who, that's who you are, so just be yourself. But I don't think it's, it'll be a distraction or anything like that, you know. So um, I'm sure if, when, if he comes in or whatever, he'll adapt to uh, what we got going on in the locker room.